Hi everyone, it's Megan Rose from the Philippines coming back to you for another set of tutorial on how to work on this character first here which is Lucky Inspired. I have a separate video on how to work on the base part of this project and I will put that link on the description box below. You needed to work on that first and you needed to use white yarn for it in order to continue working on this project. So for this project, we're gonna work on the features of Hello Kitty which are the ears, the bow, the eyes, the nose, and the whiskers. Okay, so for this project, you will need the following materials. So you will need the base part which looks like this. And then you're gonna need the following uh, yarns. So I'm using Love Nuts yarn. This is acrylic weight yarn or a weight worsted weight yarn that is acrylic. We need the white one for the ears, the red for the bow, yellow for the nose, black for the whiskers and the eyes. You're also gonna need a pair of scissors to cut your yarn and a hook. So for this project, I'm using this 2.75 mm. Use the hook that you are most comfortable in using. And we're also going to need some zipper once we are done with it and a lining that we have sewn. So let's work on this together. Okay, so we're going to start off with the eyes first. So I'm using a black yarn. What we need to do is wrap our hook around the yarn like this to make... This is how I start it. And then we're going to chain 3. So, one, two, and three. And then we're gonna do half double crochet from the second chain from the right. So, we're gonna chain half double crochet here. So, I'm gonna show you once again. Wrap your hook around the yarn like this and then chain three. One, two, three. And then we're gonna half double crochet from the second chain from the right which is here yarn over pull through one loop and then yarn over pull through three loops then we're going to put five half double crochet on the last chain so here we're gonna make one two three four and five and for the last space, we're going to work on three half double crochets. So we have one, two, and three half double crochets. And slip stitch on the first half double crochet. And then we're going to leave a long end for sewing. And you cut it. And then you're just going to make another one just like this. So I have already made one here. So they're supposed to be of similar size. So please go on and work on another one of these. So next we're gonna work on the nose part of the Hello Kitty. So hold your yarn again just like this. And then we're gonna wrap around the hook around the yarn. Then we're gonna chain four. One, two, three. Four. we're gonna work on half double crochets again so half double crochet from the second chain from the right so here half double crochet another half double crochet on the next one and then we're gonna put five half double crochet on the last chain so there's one Three, four, and five. For the next space, we're gonna put one half double crochet, and for the last space, we're gonna put three half double crochets. Okay, so there's one, two, and three. 
Then we're gonna slip stitch on the first half double crochet. We're gonna leave a long end to sew the nose. So it looks like this. Then fasten off. And then we're going to set it aside, okay? The next feature that we're gonna work on is the bow part. Which is this right here. So pick up your red yarn. And you hold your yarn like so. Wrap around your hook just like this. And then you're gonna chain 15. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we're gonna work on single crochet for the next 14 chains. So single crochet from the second chain from the right. And then work your way along all of the chains, working single crochets all throughout up until the last bit. So we're just gonna work on single crochets. All throughout the chains just like so and after this we're just gonna work on five more rows to complete the six rows that we're gonna use for this bow part of the hello kitty so once you reach the last chain you're just gonna turn your work and then you're just gonna chain one and then work your way all throughout the next stitches using single crochet and I'm just gonna work on five more rows which makes six rows of single crochet okay so just gonna work on that and I'm gonna catch up with you after that okay hi guys so by now I may have made uh, six rows back and forth of the single crochet for all of the 14 stitches that we made and we're gonna use this for the bow part of the hello kitty so we're just gonna need to have a long end since we're gonna use this to wrap around the middle part of this rope this bow here so I'm gonna show you how to do this and I forgot to mention that we need a tapestry needle or a darning needle to use for this uh, technique here so insert your yarn through your darning needle and then we're gonna insert it up until through several stitches here up until it goes to the middle part of this rectangular crochet piece and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch the middle part so it will look like this And then we're going to poke in the middle part to make it secure. Put a few stitches there. So that the middle part will curl up. And then since we have a long end, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it around the middle part like so. Just to make it or turn it into a bow. Just make it as neat as you can. And afterwards, we can knot it in the back part. And we're gonna still use this yarn here, this leftover yarn to sew it to the to the circle piece or to the base piece. So just do this. And afterwards just leave it like so. And now we have made the bow part. Okay. 
Hi guys, so now we're down to working on the ear parts, which is directly crocheted on the base part of our wallet. So we're just gonna find the, the edge of the closure where it is connected to the other flap. So pick your white yarn and make a slip knot and insert your hook like so. And then we're going to insert our hook here. And we're gonna work on the first ear, so slip stitch here. Then we're going to work on seven half double crochet across. Chain one, work on your first half double crochet. The second one. Three, four, five, six and seven so that is our first row turn your work and then chain one and here's we're gonna work on half double crochet two together yarn over insert your hook here and then insert it to the next one and then pull through all four loops work on three half double crochet across to each stitches one two and three for the next two stitches, we're gonna put half double crochet two together. Like so this. Go through four loops, chain one, and then turn your work. For row three, we're gonna work on half double crochet two together. So go through one loop, and then insert your hook to the next one. Go through all four loops, half double crochet on the next stitch and then half double crochet two together on the next one and for and then we're gonna chain one turn your work and then we're gonna half double crochet three together for the tip part of the ear so insert it here insert it the next one and insert it the next one so now we have four loops on our hook insert it all through that five loops and then cut your string and then fasten up so now we have made our first ear i'm gonna work on the next one for the second ear it's the same technique only we're gonna find where we're going to start off so take your yarn and make a slip knot again. So we're just gonna count the other edge part where it is it has a closure to it. So we're just gonna count seven stitches from this tip here. So two, four, six. On the seventh one, that is where we're gonna insert our hook. And we're gonna slip stitch there. And just like the first year, we're gonna work on four rows. So for the first row, chain one and work on seven half double crochet all throughout the next seven stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain one and turn your work work on half double crochet two together in the next two stitches in between you're gonna work on three half double crochet for the next three stitches for the last two stitches or space we're gonna work on half double crochet two together so you can go through four loops chain one and then turn your work for the third row Start with the half double crochet two together. So yarn over, insert it here, and then insert it the next one. Pull through four loops. On the next one, one half double crochet. On the last two, half double crochet two together. And then chain one. For the fourth and last row, we're gonna work on half double crochet three together. So yarn over, insert it on the first, on the second, and on the next one. 
and then pull through all of the five loops. And then cut your string and then fasten it. So now it looks like this. So what we need to do is to weave in the ends and then we're gonna next work on how to uh, sew all of the features. Okay guys, so our next step would be to gather up all of our made uh, features and then take your darning needle and before we start sewing them, uh, just insert the ends first so that it will be an easier process for us to sew it. So individually insert all of the ends for each of the features that we have made so far. So that we don't need to do it on the last bits and it will be easier for us to work on it. So that's my advice to leave end the ends first. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm gonna catch up with you after that, okay? Okay guys, so by now we have weave and all of the ends for all of the features. So I just need to collect them and now we're, we're ready to uh, sew them directly to the crochet piece. So the first one that I saw is the nose. So you just needed to um, see where to put it. So I usually put it just below this middle part here in this middle hole. I directly sew it there. So insert your end through your darning needle and then you just start sewing. And I usually sew it on the back loop only catching some of the piece from the base part here. And then work my way around catching the base and the back loop of each of the stitch just to make it a uh, bolder or neater. So just continue working on it around and then after that we need to just hide your string inside of the piece so this is what we're gonna do with the other ones also for the eyes just gonna sew it i'm just gonna show you how i do it for this nose and also for one of the ears then you can maybe do it on your own so now that I'm reaching the other end what I usually do is I insert the yarn inside and then cut off so now we have a basis or a reference on how to put the other features. So now I'm just gonna place both of the eyes next. So insert the ends on your darning needle. And then find the spot where you can, you're gonna put it. So I'm gonna put it right here. Just like from my prototype. And then just start sewing it. Just like the nose and this is also what you're gonna need to do for the other eyes just position it uh, usually I don't make it even so I try my best to make it even especially for the eyes it makes a lot of difference if you position them evenly so that's what you're gonna do for both of the eyes and I'm gonna go ahead and sew the other one and I'm just gonna catch up with you afterwards okay I hope you don't mind so now that I have put this I'm gonna go ahead and put the other one the next thing that we're going to sew is the bow part so take your yarn and the bit Insert it through your needle and insert it through this side parts 
of the middle and then attach it like so what I usually do is I just sew the middle part of it or the middle the side of the middle part I sew it several times when I go to the other side So it's just like this, directly to the ear, uh, to the base, where the ear is. So it's several times. Sometimes you can just knot it inside if you're done. And then you can hide your string through the stitches of the bow just like this and then cut it so the next one that I'm gonna show you is how to put the whiskers which I think completes the whole of the Hello Kitty wallet okay so now we're going to put the whiskers so take your black yarn insert it through your darning needle And then cut your string. Knot it. I'm gonna find the spot where we're going to insert it. So here. So insert our string there do this so that we can knot it inside and then we're gonna work on the right whiskers first just below the eyes So it is slanting upwards, so we're going to insert it here. And then we're going to position it so that we can work on the, the middle whiskers. And the middle whisker is horizontal in a way. So we're gonna insert it here and then positioning the next one which is also sideways okay so we're gonna knot it inside to fasten off We need to make this as neat as we can because since the base is white, you can see it from the outside. So I just need to knot it just like so. And it's okay if the stitches are visible inside. You're going to put a lining on it anyways. So we're going to work on the whiskers on the other side next. Okay, so for the whiskers on the other side, I think we still have enough yarn. So just knot it. And then position it on the other side. Make it as even as you can with the other whisker. like this and then knot it on the inside 
just like the first one I think two times is enough to knot it inside and I think that will be secure enough so now we were able to we can our sew all of our all of the features and it looks like this for now the next step that we need to take is to cut some fabric for the lining which looks like this and then sew it on the sewing machine if you have one and if you don't have one I think you can also uh, sew it by hand so just measure the base part on the fabric just like so and then you sew it just like this and you needed to sew the lining along with the zipper I don't know if I can show you how to do that but once it is done it looks like this and that is gonna be the end of our tutorial for today I hope that you enjoyed uh, working on them as much as I enjoy teaching them to you all of the information about this project is gonna be in the description box below if you have questions or suggestions please put them on the comment box below so that's it for now bye everyone and happy crocheting Hi guys, so since I'm here now, I'm gonna try to show you how I sew the zipper along with the lining by hand. So I should usually start by cutting this step here where the slider is. And then I try to put on another one with a bigger slider to it. So insert it just like so. And then I usually burn the side. So that it won't fray. And then I'm gonna set it aside for now. I'm gonna take a needle and your regular sewing thread. Then just knot your thread, just like so, and then you're gonna start sewing it. I'm go going to show you that next. What I usually do is I insert first the lining on the item, and I pin the edge parts using a pin. Just to position them. Take my zipper and sew the sew on the edge part. I sew on this topper here, just like this. And then I'm going to sew, start sewing it along with the zipper. I don't know, I think I have made a video showing you this from before. But I just want to freshen you up with how to do it. Refresh. What I usually do is. I put a few stitches at the beginning just to have a stopper and then I align the zipper along with the lining just like this also aligning it to the crochet piece and then so as I go it's really hard to show you how to do this but I try my best especially because it has this bow here blocking my view but this is how I started 
and I usually sew in between the stitches. You can just work on it on your own. Maybe you have some experience on putting lining on a sewing machine. But I find it hard sewing it in the sewing machine. So I usually tend to lean towards doing this. So since we have reached this edge part. And there are no bows here. We can see where to put our stitches in between those stitches. Just sew it just like this up until you reach the other part. And I'm gonna catch up with you right before we reach this other side, okay? Okay, guys, so continue showing you how to sew the line with a zipper for the Hello Kitty character purse. So I'm going to the other edge now. I'm close to reaching it. So I think I can pick out this pin here. So I'm still uh, sewing it in between the stitches. And then we have reached the second gear. I have put another set of uh, thread. It's really advisable to use the same thread with the color of the yarn. So now we're reaching the other side. So I just folded the zipper inside. And for this edge here, Just like on the first edge, we're gonna put um, several stitches just to put a stopper to it and then just continue on with the other side. You needed to open your zipper so that you can work on the other side. So just even it up. This is how I usually put linings on most of my coin purses, especially the character purses. So now you're seeing that I don't have much thread left. So what I usually do is I insert it inside and also knot it inside the times. And then I hide my thread inside of the lining on the zipper. And I'm gonna t attach another set of thread. So just do that up until you reach the other side. And that is how you uh, sew the lining and zipper. I'm gonna try to show you before closing. I'm in the last bits of sewing the lining with the zipper for the Hello Kitty purse. So for the last bits, you just needed to go along and sew it. I'm quite successful or lucky that the lining and zipper's length matches. Sometimes it doesn't and you need to redo your work. So, you need to not do that. So, I'm nearing the edge. And I'm hoping that this is visible to you guys. I often make my tutorial here in bed so that I can really show you how I work on my items. So, now I can knot it inside. and hide my string inside of the wallet 
And if we're successful, it will be a good fit. There it is. It's a good fit. Sometimes the inside zipper is very long, but here it is okay. So sometimes I just cut it and then I burn the side bits. So that is how you put zipper and lining on the character process. I hope that you enjoyed working on them. And that's it for now. Happy crochet everyone.